In Angular, you can use pipes to transform data in templates and for that Angular also provides some built-in pipes. But in case you want some custom functionality, it is possible to create your own custom pipes. So let us say you are selling movies and you do have a profit of 20%. Given that you have just the selling price, it is possible to use a pipe to get the profit. Another example would be, let's say you have an image URL and you want to transform the URL. So by replacing the JPEG extension with PNG extension. Let us go to our project and see it in action. In here, let us go to the TypeScript file. And in here, I'm going to type selling price is equal to, this is going to be 15 dot 39. Now let me go to the HTML file. In here I can remove the price and then I can just have a span. In here I'll type selling price. So the selling price is going to be the selling price value. And then I'm going to have the profit. And the profit is going to be the selling price. But after I apply the custom pipe that I'm going to create, it's going to display the profit from the selling price. Now to create a pipe, we need to create a new TypeScript class. For that, I'll just go to the app folder. Inside the app folder, just right click and then new folder. I'm going to name this folder the pipes folder because if you want, you can create other pipes in the upcoming parts. And then inside this folder, I'm going to add a new file. This is going to be a TypeScript file. So for that, I'll just type the profit.pipe.ts and then press enter. The first thing that we need to do is that we need to import from the Angular core two interfaces. That is going to be import. So import. We are going to import the pipe and the pipe transform interfaces from Angular core. So Angular and then core. Then down here, I'm going to use a decorator. For the components, we have said that we use the component decorator. For pipes, we are going to use a new decorator, the pipe decorator. And then inside the pipe method, so inside this decorator, we are going to define inside curly brackets the pipe name. So name, I'm going to name this pipe the profit pipe. So just profit. And then down here, we are going to have an export. So export class. I'm going to name this the profit pipe that implements the pipe transform interface. So we need to implement this interface. And then inside this class, so inside the export profit pipe that implements the pipe transform interface, we are going to use the transform method. And if you hover over here, it's going to say that the class profit pipe incorrectly implements the interface because the transform is missing. So the transform method. In here, I'm going to type transform. And this is going to take two parameters. It's going to take the number. So let's say the selling price. And the second parameter is going to be the profit. So let's say 10%, 20% or whatever percentage. In here, I'll just type profit percentage. And we're going to give a default value, let's say 10%. And then here I'm going to also define the return type and the return type is going to be a number. Now inside here, now inside here, I'm going to just return, let's return the value. So value times the profit percentage times 0 0.01. So I'm basically dividing everything by a hundred or I can do it like this. So times, 1 over 100. 
So in here I'm converting the number 10 to a percentage by dividing the number with 100. So I have the value times the percentage is going to return the profit. I'm going to just save the changes in here in the pipe and then I'll go to the app component.html. Now in here on the selling price, I'm going to type pipe and then profit. Now you're going to see that I get an error and that's right because we did create the profit pipe but we didn't register the profit pipe. So let us just go to the explorer then go to the app.module.ts in the decorations we're going to define the pipe so we need to register the pipes in the declarations so this pipe is available for usage I'm going to type in here profit pipe and this is going to automatically import the profit pipe from this location let us see the change in here and go to the HTML file and you can see that the error is gone. So we have the profit pipe, which is our custom pipe, and then the percentage is 10. So let us save the changes and let's go to our app. In here now we do see that we have the selling price and we do have the profit and the profit has a lot of numbers. In here we are going to keep just two decimal points after the value so I'll just put brackets around the value and then in here dot to fixed and then two to keep just two decimal points. Now in here we do get an error and the error says that the type string is not assignable to type number and that's right because the to fixed is going to return a string instead of a number so let us change the number return type in here to be a string and you'll see that the error is gone. So let us save the changes. We'll see that in here we do not have any errors. So let us also change the value in the app component. Let's say from 15.39 to 15.50. Save the changes. Let's go to the browser. I'm changing the value just so it's easy for us to calculate the percentage and then in here you're going to see that from 15.5 the profit is 1.55 now here since we have the selling price and the profit it makes sense that these values be shown as currency values instead of just as a decimal point number for that let us just go back to our project and then in here in the component.html and then in here after the profit pipe we can apply a second pipe and that can be the currency pipe. Let us do the same for the selling price. I'll just put in here just the currency pipe. Save the changes. Let's go one last time to the browser. And now in here you can see that we do have the selling price in dollars and we also have the profit in dollars.